Hey YouTube, <clears throat> so it's Tuesday, um, I think it's the 17th I believe, but anyway, I was getting set up here this morning and finishing some things. I got the, the um, another second coat of paint on the plow, so I'm going to leave that as, as it is. I put it on the truck just to be able to move it. I set the planer up outside here. I want to start planing this wood and I'll put it on the trailer to get it put into the greenhouse when Carmine comes back. So uh, that's my project for today. I'm going to start working on that. I'm a little bit, uh, got a lot of stuff laying around I guess I should say, but um, it's all in order. It's just a lot of stuff. So I need to get this taken care of and I want to get this pile, these two piles of wood into the um, kiln as soon as I can. So I'm going to see how this works out here this morning. And we're going to uh, check out the moisture. It should be somewhere around 8 I would say. Between 8 and 10 or so. But then we're going to start to plane some of this.
give you a little bit of a guidance, I guess I could say it is, or whatever. Here's what the story is with this board. Now, uh, when Carmine cuts, he cuts a full inch, and when I cut, I try to cut a full inch as well. Now, the problem with uh, some of these boards is that they cut, and they get a little bit of a bend in them like this. Now, right now, uh, this board is quarter sewn on both sides, but the middle of it has a cup in it because of uh, the way that the, that the uh, grain is. It's three quarters of an inch thick right now because I have my uh, gauge on the side of the planer set. And this is ready to go into the greenhouse. Now it's at, it's at around eight and a half, nine percent, which is not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. It could go a little bit lower. But in the greenhouse, it'll go lower, even through the winter without heat in there. The sunlight will heat up the greenhouse enough for it to go down. So this board, as is, is going to go onto the uh, trailer, and then it'll go into the greenhouse. So I'll just show you what it looks like a little bit here. If you look at, um, let's see, let me show you the other end. The other end's a little easier to see the grain. Yeah, if you look at the cut here, from here to about right here, that's quarter sawn. From here to there is quarter sawn, and in the middle we have the circular coil. So that's because it wasn't that big of a log. But if you look, coming, coming across here now, it's, it's pretty nice and flat, even though it had a crown in it. Now that crown could be taken out of a one inch board with a planer and end up with a three quarter inch board. That's the point. That is what I'm trying to do. I want to end up with three quarter inch boards after they're done planing, okay? So I have the planer it's set right at three quarters at the moment, but you have to start, you know, wherever the wood size is and break it down. And this planer only cuts about a sixteenth or less, maybe an eighth of an inch or less each time. So you want to take it easy and work both sides so that you're done when you're, when you're finished, you're done. That's what you want to be after. The minimum, you take out the minimum you can from one side to smooth it, and then you work on the opposite side. So this is going to go on the trailer, and we're time for another board. look at this board. I'm not going to get the camera, but I'll just tell you. This board goes like this, slightly, but it looks like it's not enough that I can't, you know, clean that out of there. It's very little. So I'm going to take this piece through the planer facing up first so I can get two flat sides, and those flat sides will make the board lay flat inside the planer. Okay, so I'm going to take the top off here first, whatever I can get from it, and then we'll do the opposite side. to do to work with wood. Both sides of this 
have a nice smooth edge all the way down. But the middle is not smooth, but the outside edge is. So it looks like another a pass or so might make this flat. Okay, so I put this board through. And on the bottom here, it has two nice flat edges. So that's what I want. I want to be able to take this board and set it down on the planer here and have it nice and smooth, right through there smoothly. And that's what it's going to do with those two smooth edges.
Okay, so now that board is smooth on both faces. So it's smooth on this face, which is the face I just did, and it's also smooth on the opposite face. Now this uh, this is some pretty nice wood. There's a little bit of uh, center uh, pith in it that can easily be cut out. And most of the time you're not working with full-size boards that you buy red oak. You usually cut them down into smaller pieces. Now I'm not saying that that's ideal because I do want uh, clear big boards. But for now, this board is fine. You're looking at probably, I don't know, uh, probably $40 for something like this. I believe this is a 1 by 10 40 $50 for a board like this in red oak. So I'm going to put that on the um, trailer and get out another one. What's nice about this board is this board doesn't seem to have any cup in it, so this might plane a little quicker.
it's been fully flamed, but it's a little on the heavy side. It's a little thick, about a sixteenth or slightly less. So I'm going to put that through one more time. you this if you took notice when I first put that board in there um, it had kind of seized up twice the reason for that is there's two knots in it there's a knot here and there's a knot up there now the board is actually a beautiful board except for the knots so they can be cut out or work you can work with the wood between the knots here's the thing um, the knots sometimes do not or most of the time do not have as much moisture in them as what the board has in it so the knot won't shrink as much as the board does so that means when you first put it in the planer the knot is sticking up a little bit so it takes a little more to get it through the planer than it does when you have just plain wood that's a 1 by 12 there and that's a nice looking board except for the two knots and really I'm not going to worry about that because as far as furniture goes, I can definitely get boards out of this that have to be cut straight. Now if you notice, on this edge, the board has like a dip in it there. It could be from anything. It could have been a, just a bad cut or it could be because of the knots being in or affected the way it dried. But the good thing is that it's flat. That's the good part. That's what I like about planing in the end. So I'm going to plane some more guys and if I come to something that's a difficulty, I'll get back to you. On this board here, I'd like you to see something. Now, it's one thing if you have knots and they're in the middle of the board, okay, they don't extend through the edge. That's, they're, they're not too hard to go through, although sometimes the knot falls down or could stop you from moving. But this right here is what can be a pain because sometimes as you cut it, this piece may slip down or up and hold you up somewhere on your planer bed. So you have to kind of work with that a little bit slowly to see if you can get through it. The best thing to do is to, if they're sticking up, put them up in the planer so you can cut them down. Now the other thing is, if you have somebody helping you, they could take a block plane and possibly shave some of that off there real quick so you don't have to run through the planer so many times. But I'm just showing you that that's some, if these break off, sometimes they slow down getting you through the planer. So it can be a little bit of a pain in the noose and the neck to, you know, try and work with it. But anyway, we're gonna put this through there because there's a good board on that side, on the back side, and it's fairly flat. So we'll see how it works. I'll let you watch this one.
because they were basically flat. So I'm just, just going to finish planing that. Now there is some knots in there. You know there's a crack in the side there where a knot had uh, the wood shrunk more than the knot did and it pulled away from the knot. So that's what you're looking at there where those cracks are. But nonetheless, I'll get it down to three quarters of an inch and put it on the pile. Well guys, sometimes you have really favorable days and today's one of them. Um, I don't know if you can see the, th the thermometer in there because of the corrugation of the plastic, but it's 114 in there today, and it's not that hot out. I'd say it's probably around 70 out, but the sun is nice and bright. I'll show you the sky in a second. And there's around 20 to 25% moisture content, which is just right for drying. If you look up there, there's not a cloud anywhere in this neck of the woods here is actually nice so it's supposed to be four days like this so I've got ten boards here that I planed and it, it went good you can see some of the one by six there are nice looking boards on this side one by twelve one by ten one by nine but the point is is that you know we're getting them down to three quarters of an inch and that's something that I have a market that I can sell for so we're looking good. I'm happy with this. And then tomorrow all I have to do is plain. I don't have to be fooling around getting everything set up. In case you're wondering, uh, these rollers tend to fall over pretty easy. So I have lead weights on them right here. I want to do something else, but I'm not sure if I want to stay in this neck of the woods here doing the planing was considering taking loads over to the greenhouse and playing over there but I'm not certain yet of how I'm gonna do it so I'm willing to just do it this way for now but you have to be careful sometimes the rollers will tip if you're you know if you let the, the board hit it but um, it's better that the roller tilt than it be locked into the planer but anyway that's how I've been um, keeping the keeping the rollers still the other roller on this side here also has some lead weights on it and I'm just going to let that sawdust build up on there to help hold the roller in place. So, anyway guys, have a good one. That's what I, I'm videotaping today. I'm going to be working on this then. Bye.